me turn off the music. Avoid any uh, copyright claims. So it's midnight. Actually, it's three minutes before midnight. Um, back in Chicago area, more normal time zone for most people. Um, last several weeks have been very crazy. I've been traveling all over the place. Um, three weeks ago, I was in Thailand. Um, I traveled through Singapore, New York City. I was in downstate Illinois for last few days. Now I'm back. I'm hoping to do some more regular streams, uh, at least this coming week. Um, this will probably be a quick one. Um, I would like to play Ace Rook because he's also streaming. And I think it would be fun for people to watch, like if uh, if we both stream. And he's playing one minute, so what I'll do is I'll watch his games, and then I will. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Someone just subbed. Oh, Z Nation Chess just subbed. Wow, thank you, Z Nation Chess. That's awesome. Um, what was I saying? I'm gonna watch Ace Rook's games, and then. Hopefully play him, and it'll be a streamer versus streamer bullet match or something. If that doesn't work, then I'll play random people, and maybe I'll do tactics or whatever. Um, hero, 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 hero. What is LM? Life Master, yeah. Um, which is just a US title, I think. There's like Life Master and Life Senior Master. But it doesn't really mean anything like internationally, I don't think. Um... Okay, let me get all the windows where I want them. The chat is way too... Wait, is audio working? Okay, audio should be working. Uh, let me do that. And... Yeah, let's try and play Ace Rook. Create game. One minute. Is he playing? Maybe I can just challenge him, like, directly. Oh, I'm playing someone else. Okay, that's too bad. Um, but I'm playing another LM. That's cool. Uh, he's playing a perk. I haven't done too much streaming with one minute and talking, so it might be difficult to talk and play but I'll try my best. Um, that was a good move. That was a bad move. Okay, now white has a bishop pair. e5 maybe? Take. Man, I have so much respect for people who can talk and play one minute. I'm so down on time. Position doesn't look that great. Actually, the position looks okay. Let's do this in G3. Mm, I don't know. I didn't want to give up the bishop here, but... Okay, let's just try and simplify. Queen for two rooks. It's probably easier to play with a queen. Just one piece to worry about. Is he gonna hang something? Let's check or yeah, let's check first. Do that. Take. Oh, I hung something. But he didn't take it. This is so bad. Okay, now white's just lost. Oh, that was a good move. Uh, okay. Can I self stalemate myself? Probably not. Queen G1, please? No. Okay. Um, oh, Queen G1 would have been check anyway. Okay. That was really bad. Um, I think white was better at some point. But talking and playing one minute, it's not easy. What happened in that position? 
Like everything was hanging, but I had to check. But black's still better. And too many things attacked. I should have played rook f1. Oh, but then king e7. Okay. Let's forget about that game. Um, let's try one more time to play, play uh, ace rook. And then if that doesn't work, I will do something else. Um, where do I want to go? Just homepage. I could watch his stream on my stream. Now let's go to this link and then watch games. So he's currently playing a game. So if I challenge him, would that work? One minute. I haven't been looking at the chat, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue not to look at the chat because we're playing uh, streamer versus streamer. Good luck, Ace Rook. There's gonna be less talking and more playing. Uh, Queen C2 is weird. Queen usually doesn't belong on C2. I should have played A5. He should have played b4. Hmm. Okay, queen c7. And yeah, less less commentary than last game for sure. But I'll try and give some moments of insight when I can. Black should be better here. Up a pawn. And I just trapped his knight. Oh, but he has stupid tactics. Take, take. That's really unfortunate. Mm. Oh, knight d5. Okay. That took too long to find. Let's take that. So hero, 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 hero wants me to play against viewers, um, which I'll probably do at some point. Oh my gosh, this is going to be annoying. Um, Zugzwang? Yes, Zugzwang. It's not too annoying. Okay, that was fun. It's fun to win at one minute. Let's play the two knights attack. Hope he doesn't know this. I actually meant to play a3 there, but a4 makes some sense. Oh, but now I just lose a piece. Okay, this is bad, but at least white has a d-file and good center, but a piece is a piece. Oh, this is really bad. Just down on time, down a piece. Um, I'll try and complicate things somehow. Get some quick attack in against the king. E6 is weak. F2 is weak. Uh, ooh. Okay, I win some material back. I win C3 in the end. Still down on time. But I have two pawns and a rook for the two pieces. B4 almost traps a knight. Wow, coming back here. Push that b-pawn. Take, take, take. No, he has knight c6 in the end. Let's do this. And then b7. Take, take, take. Okay, that works. Whew. 
That was a really bad start of the game, but somehow I came back. Like, he just... He tried to simplify it, but lost a, a lot of material. Um, quick moment to read the chat. Bloons Master, what's up? Z Nation, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, rematch. So, the score, I guess, in includes the previous games that we've played. I'll play E5 this game. And Knight F3. So this is some slow positional line. Oh no, Mubot! G5, does that work? No, he has Knight D5. <sighs> I have to turn Mubot off. Um, can I like ban Mubot? Unmod? Okay, I'll do that afterwards. This is actually kind of annoying. So I couldn't play G5 there. Let's try for F5. Do that, and that, and C6. Some weird structure. But black has a lot of activity coming on the king side. That was a good move. King is kind of stuck in the center. I don't know which king is less safe. Hmm can take, right? It's a crazy position. <laughs> I think it's still okay for black, though. Especially if he's thinking. Hmm, let's do this. Is that mate? Oh, that's not mate. Oh, but he flat. Okay. Okay, three for three. Uh, Flash Gordon 22. I am back. I actually returned to the US on February 1st. But I, can't, I, threw, I flew through New York and stayed there for, for a few days. Um, let's play Tarash this game. Old school opening. How do I play this line? B4, I think. And bishop B2. Yeah, the sack on E5. I don't think that works, though. <laughs> it definitely didn't work. What is he doing? All those free pieces. Oh, he meant to play bishop C5. Uh, rematch? Okay. Nice score so far. Mixing up the openings. Play this whatever setup. Reverse Bafanik system. At some point, I'll stop this match and do something more productive. But it feels good to keep the streak going. Another crazy short position. We're both trying to attack on the king side. Oh, that's annoying. That's also annoying. Let's sack. It's queen c6. So he'll be weak on the light squares. Oh, he can't defend e4. That's nice. Just make him feel stuck. Uh, ooh, that doesn't quite work. Let's play that. I just want to play rook f1 and torture him. Actually, let's take and then play rook f1. 
Okay. Z Nation Chess, how have your travels been? They've been really hectic. Um, but I do have an article coming out, either tonight, probably tomorrow, on, uh, on US Chess. Just recapping the last two months of my life. Um, let's play d4 this game. Go for some London system. C4, queen b3, this line. Yeah, very positional line. Rook a7. Weird move. I could play b5, because there's a pin. A yeah, very thematic idea. I'm try and keep it positional. It's a very classic positional grind. These London positions. Rook e7, no. not necessary. Defense. This is bad. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Please flag. Before I flag. No. Okay, <laughs> um, that was really messy. I don't know how I let that slip. I just got too relaxed. Um, I'm planning to execute anyone who plays a London against, against me from now on. It's a good idea. Um, hello, Yudai444. Hello, Jagulep. Um, we'll play a few more games. Uh, what do I want to play? Play c6. Some sort of Slav. Be greedy. Up a pawn. Bishop pair. Hmm. Some point I want to play c5 very soon. Doesn't quite work. His knights are annoying. My bishop's really bad on b7. This is scary.
No. <laughs> oh. I'm so slow. It's been a while since I've played bullets with the just hands get sweaty with the trackpad. Okay, um No more excuses. Let's play another London. This line again. Very similar to the previous game. Slipping. It's a funny structure, but very pleasant for white. I play on the queen side and the king side. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that though. Still interesting because this. Rook is kind of stuck. He's going to move the bishop to d8. It's still interesting. Oh, that was a good move. Whoa. I have to flag him somehow. Such a funny position. What's going on? It finally takes. King d6 was critical, because I think he, he probably pre-moved king takes c5. Um, that was a crazy game. That was a really weird position. Like, he had to somehow get his rook out, but he was stuck. And he, he was very hesitant to take, because he didn't want me to win b7. Um, okay, I'll try and get to 10 points, and then I'll stop. So I have 7.5 right now. Um... Or actually six and a half, given that's only today's score, h6. I still have to kill uh, Mubat. Let's do that. This is probably going to be a long game, so time is very important. Especially in these close positions. Being sneaky. I don't see mates, but it looks very close. Material is good enough. I have a cool move coming up. The double pin. That's nice. Pinned. Oops. It's going to draw arrows there. Let's do that. That was a weird maneuver, rook to b5, but his pawns were weak. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna unmod Moobot. I could ban Moobot. Uh, <laughs> just gonna ban Moobot. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll unban him eventually. Okay. Uh, rematch. Yeah, I would suggest if whoever is watching this, watch both of us. I'm sure it's much more interesting to get uh, both perspectives. Um, let's play Knight F3 this game. Some sort of English ready. It's a weird opening. Um, can move my queen. Bishop is almost trapped on f5. Okay, weird stuff is about to happen. Take, take, take. I want to sag my queen, but it's wrong. I'm spending too much time, too. No! I. Oh, I wanted to take on b2. Mm. Slight mouse slip. Let's try and fight, though. Still fighting chances. Win the queen, down a rook. F2's weak, that's annoying. Down on time. Okay. Um, keep it going. Still trying to get to 10 points. This line. This line's interesting. My black is being super greedy, but it might pay off. take on f6. It's almost losing. Now I feel comfortable because it's hard for him to remove this knight, which defends g7. Rook d3 comes. Maybe that. And that, and that. Okay, looking good. Hmm. I have to move quickly, though. What opening to play? Let's play English. Ooh, Carol Khan. This is just a bad opening for Black. No, I wanted to play A4. Ah, all this mouse slipping today. Moves are coming. 
Two bishop threats. Looks fun. Uh, let's take. That's a fork. My teacher Sam is here. Welcome. Chess fun 27. Crazy bot. Bad words. Okay, I'm not gonna pay too much attention. My teacher Sam is a mod, so if there are bad words, my teacher Sam can step in. Let's go for a Marazzi bind. b6 is okay. He would like to take on e5, but my rook on a is, uh, is defended. I'm gonna go for a sneaky mate. Knight g4, knight h3. Oh, now it's rook moved. I'm still threatening mate in two. I think I can go for that. Win f2. That sort of worked. a good move. I'll sack my queen. Knights are so tricky. This would be scary if he gets the king to h6. But okay, time has been treating me well. Um, I am using a trackpad, my teacher Sam. Um, it's my only source of uh, moving the the cursor. Um, I used to use these wireless mouses, but I kept losing the little USB stick, so it's hard to lose a trackpad. <laughs> This is some sort of Grunfeld something. Oh, I passed 10 points, and I didn't even realize. Um, if I win this game, it'll be my last game. So I do want to end with a win.
good move. Very good move. He's playing well. Stop it. He's playing fast too. No. Design. Um, okay, rematch. Last game for me. I better win this one. Good luck. Uh, let's play a good opening. Let's play this. No, he played h4. Let's play h5. symmetrical. Hmm. F4 is a great square for a knight. Okay, nice games, Ace Rook. Um, it'll be cool to go back and like watch his stream and my stream and see the kind of the, the mashup. Um, what is going on? Okay, I'm trying to catch up with the chat. Eric, where do you go after Indonesia? So Don X for me. Um, I went to, so after Indonesia, I went to Phuket, Thailand. Then I went to Singapore for a couple days. Then I went to London for three days. And then I went to New York City. And now I'm back in Chicago. Um, hello, Brayden, how's it going? Ace Rook, hi, hi, yeah, very messy games. Um, except that last one, at least I think I kept it clean, at least for my, my side. Um, any other questions I missed? Okay. People don't believe me. Do people believe me that I'm on a trackpad? This is a trackpad. Um, but the Mac trackpad is, uh, it's good. It's really nice. What's the setup from black you don't like facing the most in the London? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I want to give that away. But because Z Nation Chess did subscribe, let me give it away. I do, I do have to encourage 
subscribers. So, C Nation Chess. Let's make a new study. Learn, study, new. Um, let's just call it Crush the London. This is completely public, so feel free to do whatever with it. Relax. Best setup. Oh, I'm going to stop watching Ace Rook. Kiyomi H. Hello. Long time no talk. Um, okay, so London for black. Um, actually, I, I just want to use a game to demonstrate this. Uh, and the game is some tournament I played in Denmark. So Eric Rosen. Extra con it was the last round. I just got completely crushed as white. Um, but I forget the name of the guy who I played. Maybe this link will take me. Yeah, Schroeder. He was so well prepared for me. And I was completely unprepared for him. So just a quick trick with Lee Chess. If you find a game on chessgames.com and you want to bring it into Lee Chess, the easiest way is to, when you make a new chapter, go to URL, just paste the chess games link, create chapter, and it's magic. Um, so, wow, it's really hard to keep up with the chat and talk. Um, but let me, let's just focus on this. Uh, this is how I got crushed over the summer. And I will say, if I know someone's going to play this line, then I will probably choose a different opening. But for white, um, I played London, knight c6. And I think I've shown this in some like YouTube lecture video where a lot of people will play c3 here as white. And I guess we're going over this for black, so we'll look from black's perspective. If white plays c3, this is probably the most common sort of London position, and then black is very happy after queen b6, given that b2 is under pressure. Um, now I think this is already equalizing. If white plays queen b3, c4, queen c2, a very nice move for black, bishop f5. And I have gone into this line in depth multiple times. So I think I'll I'll leave it at that. If uh, if white does play c3, just note to play queen b6. Um, in this game, I played knight d2, which attempts to meet queen b6 with a different idea, because now the rook is already defended. And the idea is to uh, sacrifice b2. So what I played in this game is d takes c5. And I thought it was like a fun line for white, if white's well prepared. But what I didn't realize is if black's well prepared, it's also a fun line for black. And my opponent was really well prepared. He took on b2, rook b1. Taking on a2, I should mention, is very risky. There's a lot of lines where the queen could get trapped. Uh, but very simple, queen c3, threatening c5. I played bishop b5, and then I will admit that like what my opponent did I think was very strong, and I was about to say I liked what my opponent did. I liked it from the black side, but not from the white side. Um, he doesn't take on c5 immediately. If he takes on c5, I would play c4, and I think there's compensation for white. What he did, he played um, just e6, and kind of delaying any immediate breakthrough from white. And the game continued, castle, and he just played bishop e7, I think he was still in his prep, knight b3, castle. And it was actually a really difficult position for white, because even though it's equal material, and like white's fully developed, the pawn is just really weak on c5, and the queen is actually really annoying on c3. It was hard to take advantage of. And from here, I started using a lot of time. I think I played queen, yeah, queen d3, knight e4. 
And it was just so unpleasant. Like, knight e4 was so strong. I can't really take, because he would take back, and stuff would fall. Played rook c1, knight b4. I think by this point, black was already crushing. Yeah, like minus two already. So, anyway, I think that's a useful line to know. Um, a lot of people won't need to know like that deeply, but if you're looking for some setup against a London, at least know this queen b6 move with the uh, idea of targeting b2. So, um, I think I'll leave it there. I'll look at the chat. Probably what I'll do is wrap this up relatively soon. I might do some tactics. Um, or if people want to play me, feel free to send me a challenge. Uh, I've been playing the Caro as a meme. What? And have a higher win rate than Sicilian. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you move so fast with a trackpad? I mean, I've been using a trackpad for like most of my life. And if you watch me use a mouse, you'll maybe understand why. You started streaming at ridiculous hours of the night. Is 12.44 a.m. a ridiculous hour of the night? Um, well, I was, in, I was in Asia and Australia for a good portion of the last two months, so it's always going to be ridiculous for some people. Epic Mouse is named Trackpad. Okay, uh, we're going to move on. Um, one of the reasons why I'm streaming, or I'll be streaming next few days, is because I have a tournament coming up next weekend, and I'm trying to hold myself accountable to actually study for that. Um, and I'm going to do my best not to play too much one minute. So I'm going to try and like solve at least a handful of puzzles every day. And I do have a nice streak going on Lee Chess. So I'm going to stop looking at the chat. Let's minimize this and just focus on the board. Um, and I'll try and so uh, solve at least five and then we'll see how I feel from there. So have to readjust from, from all that bullet. I just want to take on e4, like blitz it out. But black to move. Um, b4 actually looks really attractive. The simple removal of the guard. Like b4, if the knight moves, I win e4 with a fork. Um, if white plays e5, I take and I attack the bishop on d2. So b4 has to be the move. And then we'll take with pawn. Oh, it keeps going, really. Um, so there's a couple choices. There's 94 and 98. Both look okay, actually. I'm wondering if there's a problem, like, with one of them. I mean, 94 is probably the better move. Just a lot more aggressive. I'm surprised it's, it's actually playing it out, because 98 looks reasonable, too. My black's just up a piece. <laughs> so I'm trying to find, like, some tactical problem, like 98, queen c2, h6. But 94, I mean, 94, queen c2, bishop b7. Let's play 94. So just curious, if knight e8, was there anything wrong? Queen b3, but it's still better for black. But maybe there's some comp. Usually knight e8, the knight on e8 is not a piece that you want against a pawn on e5. Not a good matchup there. So, okay, fair enough. Let's move on. Um, black to move. I mean, this looks kind of a bit, like, important. The fact that the queen's attacking the knight. Uh, but we can't easily deflect the white queen on, on e3. Or can we? Knight b4 looks attractive. 
threatening the fork. What's material? White's up upon. But black has most of the pieces in the game. Um, yeah, knight b4. It's not like a, a forcing check, but it has a very menacing threat. Which I don't know if white can stop. Knight b4. I mean, the best move or moves that I see are either king e2 or queen f4. But then there's got to be massive compensation. So let's play knight b4. And we'll take the bishop and then take the knight. Okay. Um, easy peasy. Let's move on. It's a crazy position. Equal material. Um, lots of focus on e5. Can take with uh, the knight on e5. Can take with the rook on e5. There's also some potential. Like 92 interference checks. I feel like the theme is like interference or obstruction, where we want to block the at least this rook on on uh, on e1. So let's calculate 92. If rook take e2, bishop take e2, we win the exchange. And if white takes back on e2, we take on e5, and we're still up the exchange. Um, so knight e2, bishop take e2. Yeah, I don't know if that actually does anything for black. Might actually lose a piece. Bishop take e2. Okay, never mind. Knight e2 is probably a bad move. Yeah, this is trickier. Is there just a really simple... I didn't even consider knight c2, but it might run into bishop take g7. What just happened? Huh. Knight c2, bishop take g7, king take g7. Oh, the bishop defends a rook. So knight c2. Can black, or can white survive? Probably not. Knight c2, rook g3, oh, but then we can take an e5. Okay, let's play knight c2. It took way too long to find knight, knight c2. Don't know what happened there. White's being tricky, though. I didn't see this line, um, but it's nice that this rook is pinned to the other rook. So I think just king h8. Right? King h8, take, take. Should be good enough. Okay. Um, I lost count. I think that was three problems. Um, I think what I'll do... I'll look at the chat after two more problems. Try and keep the streak. It's a weird position. I'm just curious how this, what opening this was. This is from some like random Lee chess game, some Sicilian. Uh huh. This is knight is usually a monster on d5. Okay, interesting position. So if knight d5, then it's equal material. No, black's up a pawn. Okay. So black's up a pawn here. I mean, would like to take on h7. I don't think there's any other, like, candidate move. We can also try and trap the rook on a2 somehow. But that seems difficult. So knight take h7, king take h7, 
Queen h5 check, King g8, then f6, threatening Queen g5. That looks good. So f6, black would take. We want a rook lift, so rook f3. And I think white is just mating. It's the type of thing if you had this in a game, like you have to be absolutely certain this is working. Make sure black has no escape. I don't see any escape. Take, take, queen, h5, f6. I think it's really important that after f6, queen, g5 is a, a major threat. So let's go for that. Uh huh, that's a good sign. Okay, one more. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> is this. So white was in 1923, playing a4, a4, knight c3, knight a2. Well, probably some novelty opening. Um, this is actually a classic kind of opening trap idea where we just take on f2 and then queen h4 and queen d4. Um, that actually re reminds me of like some garbage opening in the Sicilian. Uh, let me just show this real quick. Uh, can we just go back? Yeah, so... Wait, can I move the pieces? I can't move the pieces in the puzzle. Okay. Real quick. Garbage opening. This is how you can beat unsuspecting players who play the Sicilian. e4, c5, bishop b5. Most people will play a6 here. Um, and then you play bishop to c4. Turn off the engine. Um, and now a lot of players will play b5. Like, why not just kick the bishop again, expand? But then the trap is you take on f7. It's the same theme. You take queen h5. Queen d5, take on a8. And the king has nowhere nowhere to uh, escape to. If it goes to f6 or e6, there's, uh, there's mates. So g6 here. I wonder how many people have fallen into this on the chess. Queen h5, opening book. We chess. Ah. So about 50 games. Man. Sad person. <laughs> Who played king f6. Uh, but g6. But black wins the majority of the games, really. e6. Oh, because black might be trapping the queen. Wow. I guess if, you, if you're if you trying to play this for white, you have to know how to escape with the queen. Which maybe isn't so clear. Yeah, I thought this was like a garbage opening, but maybe it's it requires some deeper analysis. Stockfish. Black is better. Wow. Okay, never mind. If anyone plays this as white, Go into this line is black, because black's just much better here. I guess the queen just can't escape, and Stockfish knows best. Yeah, actually, it might just be very simple, like queen c7, bishop b7. Okay, I learned something new. I thought that was like I've I've known this for a few years, and I just assumed this was better for white, but I guess not. Okay. Lesson learned. Um, I'll look at the chat real quick, but I think I'm going to end it. I've been streaming for about one hour, and I'm tired. Um, 
it's been a long weekend. But I'll be back. Like, I'll be back probably tomorrow and the next day. And then the day after that, I'll be... Um, I'll be doing some Twitch for the Pro Chess League match. So that should be fun. Um, I'll look at the chat. Uh, you were crushing in Melbourne Blitz. Ah, yeah. Uh, Jagulep uh, bringing up one of the interesting stories from my trip. Where I was leading a Blitz tournament and I had to withdraw to catch a flight. Very depressing. Um, okay, people trying to solve tactics. Spinal Tap Chess. Who is Spinal Tap Chess? I think it's Tom. Pretty sure it's Tom. Hello, Tom. Um, Z Nation Chess should probably be a mod. Wow, Z Nation Chess is going to have, like three badges subscriber mod and twitch prime okay um yeah i'm gonna end it here uh get some sleep and i'll be back and more awake in the future have a good night guys or a good morning wherever you are adios